What's up you guys? Ethan's Mystical Child here coming to you with a pick a card. Shout out to you guys. Hopefully your morning. You will have a good morning because it's morning time where I'm at. So hopefully you have a good morning whenever you watch the video. If you're a subscriber, what's going on with you guys? Hopefully all you guys again could get messages and enjoy the reading if you're a visitor. Welcome, returning visitors, welcome back. The title is Who Masturbates to You? And I'll probably figure out why. So we have three pals here. We have pal one here, pal two, and we have pal three. The timestamp is going to be in the description box and the message box. So I will see you at pal one. Okay, pal one, if you pick this deck, this is your reading. Again, shout out to you guys. Hopefully you guys can get some messages and you enjoy it. If you do enjoy it, well, you like and subscribe is all I ask. So, let's get to it. Now, I'm going to get some details about the person. This could be you I'm describing or them or a multitude of both. So, gatekeepers, who masturbates to power one? This person going to be a water sign. This person is like creative. They come with good news. Um, this person is very helpful. This person could be like young or emotionally young. Let's see, what else? Um, let's check the cards out. It says make something valuable with their hands. So they could be like an electrician. They could be a chef. They could be a landscaper. They just very good with their hands. Speaks more than one language. They have an accent, so they probably most likely are from the islands. Comes from overseas, clarified it. Um, spends their quick money quickly, so they're not too good with their money. They like to burn through their money. Um, person have an odd birth year, like um, 71, 81, 91, 84, 74. I'm just throwing those out there. This person have a tendency to be forgetful. They called you the other night, so you really know this person. This person has been hurt or extremely hurt by somebody in the past, by a loved one in the past. This person have lighter skin, and they wear more than one ring frequently. So, let's see. Um, get a little more details about them. Let's see. So, if this person have a tendency to be forgetful and late, they probably have um have like stood you up before. They said they have called you before. Or this person have like not come through. Sometimes they like a person that say they're going to do something and don't do it. Tell me more about this person. For this person to spend money quickly, they probably a hustler. They probably make money quickly. It says don't mess with this person. Yeah, don't mess with this person. Warning. don't. They're not divine. So, and it says judgment, imprisonment, 555. So it's a lot of changes going on with this person or with you in this situation and this person. And the tower is falling. So it's a tower moment here. The universe really don't want you to be with this person. Judgment is here. So some of you guys with the judgment card here, some of you guys could be seeing like um, having an awakening about this situation or realize this person is not... You heard that shit? <laughs> Confirmation. Or this person doesn't have pure intentions. Tell me more about this person that masturbates the power one. It says, chef, contractor, good with their hands, landscaper. Came out twice. It clarified himself. So, this ex played with spell work on the low. Great. It says, this person is a person that does drugs. They either sniff coke or smoke weed or pop pills or, you know, have, they like hookahs. This person is about sex, drugs, and rock and roll. So, and this person has been heartbroken. So, that has been proven twice as well. So, for... A large amount of you guys, this this is like, it's not like for a small amount of you guys. This is for a large amount of you guys. So, tell me a little more about this person. It says, talk about them in details. And this is the name of my deck. So, again, clarifications after clarifications. Has an accent. Can be Asian, Jamaican, English, or accent. African. So this person 
this all these cards is like clarifying itself it's amazing how i'm getting confirmations because i've never really had these cards confirm itself like it is now it says um this person could be childish they naive reckless foolish this person could be a gemini or a sagittarius it's the lover's card so yeah it's the lover's energy so this person is like delves in sexuality and romance that's what they love to do one last card and then i'm gonna move on from this deck one last card let's see which one's turned over it says you will you walked away and leveled up and they want to hold some money so if they come back they want some money from you for some of you guys that's the intention for most of them this person manipulation backfired now they're obsessed so let's go move on from there um what will i clarify here with this deck okay why did power one walk away from this person gatekeepers again take what um resonate leave the rest this is just letting you know who this person really is if you don't know who this person already Okay, it says, you walked away. Why you walked away? The moon came out, so Pisces energy, Cancer energy here. You walked away because this person wasn't making a decision. And it was keeping you blocked. And this person was envious. And it was projecting themselves on you. With the seven of wands and then the moon. With a lot of fears and, and illusions. This person was like a real demon on a low. This person delved in a lot of deceptive behavior. Person name could be Eric or Oliver. You have the moon. This person probably showed you the good side of them. But at night, this is what they was about. Or they showed you the good side of them. And behind the scenes, they was about their illusions and all their deceptions and fears and trying to keep you trapped. This person wanted to keep you trapped. They wanted to keep you tied up and not making a um, decision. Meanwhile, they keeping you blocked and won't let you get close to them. This person, some of these, um, um, this, some of these people looked at you like you was an alien. So this person wasn't used to people like you. They looked at you as an alien. Alien again. This person was an envious person. Four wands. This person was all about fun and 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 fun and games. Somebody named could be Harriet. But yeah, this person was all about fun and games. And with the lover's energy, some of you guys could have been like soulmates, but comic soulmates. Some of you guys probably partied with this person. What manipulation this person um, did on pile one and it backfired? Six of wands. They wanted to be paraded and fawned after. Um, this person was very prideful. Some of these people's name could be Lee or... Um, Leaford. This person was, um, some of these people could be very tall and skinny. This person has untapped potential, but this person wanted people to fawn after them and wanted them to be, um, supported and, and like, you know, celebrated. This person have a huge ego. What backfired here for power one? What would this person do that backfired? And it says they play with spell work on a low. And they said the manipulation backfired. Pisces energy strong. Hangman energy. So they wanted to keep you. Um, they want you. Look, this is two cards to state. They wanted to keep you tied and bound with their illusions. They wanted to keep you tied and bound. That's what manipulation backfired. Some of you guys, they were doing death spells on you. Um, tell me more about this Gemini or Sagittarius energy. The Will of Fortune. This person wanted to steal your destiny. This person wanted to keep you chasing after them as well. As they keep you blocked. They wanted you to chase after them. This is who masturbates behind you. But some of these people wanted to steal your destiny. Some of them could be named Kate or Katrin. But you learned your lessons from this person. This person was like a slithering snake trying to get to this earth angel. 
person could have been a, a Leo, could have been a Taurus, could have been a Scorpio, or could have been an Aquarius as well. Okay. On the bottom, this person really wanted to keep you stuck, but you broke free. You walked away. Clarified yourself again. Walked away. Okay, so let's see. This is an 18 plus reading, so if you're not 18, come off of this. Gatekeepers, what are they thinking about when they masturbating towards pound one? This is the king of pentacles. This person could be, no, king of cups. person could be a Scorpio or a Pisces. This person is thinking about putting your leg, giving you rabbit ears, if you know what rabbit ears is. If you don't, they want to put your legs on their shoulders as they, as they fucking you. But this person don't want to take off their clothes, so it's going to be a quick fuck. As they squeeze in your titties. Confirmation. You heard that? <laughs> Another confirmation behind that. And this is the Ace of Swords. What I'm telling you is true. Some of these people are very dangerous. They like to have dangerous sex. Tell me more about what this person um, masturbates. This person is, is, when I said dangerous, the things that they... They want to have you surrender. They think about you surrendering to them. Just letting you, just let them dominate you. They want you, they think about um, you giving them head. The Hierophant is, a, this person could be a, a Taurus. And this person, you guys could be, some of you guys could be spiritual people. Or very um, um, spiritual leaders or teachers. What what else this person want? To, um, is thinking about, not want. What else they think about? Yeah. They want you to suck their dick. That's what they th thinking about. And then you have the cur Some of them could be uncircumcised too. You see how his dick is out but he playing with the butterfly? This person is like very childlike. Very childlike. They want this set um, situation to transfer. Transform as well. Gatekeepers. What do they um, think about when they masturbate you? They thinking about toxic sex, them um, back scratches and all of that. Now, being that that came out, look, up the cover of her vagina. Look, you see that big swart between her just laying out? This person like toxic sex, so they like choking you. They like to, look, blindfold came out. I was about to say stuff like that. Blindfold, they want to blindfold you with socks and stuff. They really, they get very visual and very, yeah, very deep into this masturbation. They let their imagination take off. They want you to unbounce your fat ass on a dick. This person has an accent. This person probably have dreads too. And they love sex a lot. Which means they probably are gallus. Last messages. Tell me more about this person. It says you're the devil and bad for my health. So this person could be a Capricorn or a Cancer with that scum. Moon energy is cancer energy came out. This person is a demon. They be on a demon time. So you already know the demon want to keep you bound and tied by that dick, by their toxicity and stunt. It says munch. Best best um hood dick in the area. So this person have community dick. It says my toxic demon. Shh. So that came out a lot of times and it clarified itself how this person is toxic. That's what they think about. They how y'all had toxic sex and you know, it's nothing wrong with that if that's, you know, whatever. This person think about having morning sex with you. So some of you guys probably had morning sex or left clubs and had morning sex or, you know, just indulged in morning sex. It says, eat my dick. They want you to eat their dick up. So I'm going to pile two. So I hopefully you enjoyed the reading. <laughs> Will you like it or subscribe if you did? Till next time in Taroland. Take care. Pile two. If you pick this deck, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hopefully all is going well with you guys. And if you are a visitor, welcome. Returning visitor, welcome back. Subscribers, what's popping with you guys? So the title is, Who Masturbates to You? And we're going to see why and what they think about and stuff like that. So I'm going to get some descriptions about this person. Could be you, could be them, could be a mix between the two of you. So let's get to it. Gatekeepers, who masturbates to pal too? You have been in the proximity of this person at least once in the last six months, it says. Whoa. This person gets nervous around you.
This person grew up in a better than average household. This person is physically active, so they're probably into sports. We are read frequently. Has an imperfection in their speech, so they probably speak with a lisp or an accent potentially. This person can speak more than one language flu fluently. So yeah, this person potentially have an accent. Where will these cards come from? I don't know. Gatekeepers. How? Hold on. It says, come from overseas. This person hums often. This person makes something valuable with, your, with their hands. This person could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. They come across very nice and innocent. The young light, very, you know, kind of up and beat. It says they like to use their middle name. Your path may cross after you make a final decision. Don't know what decision that is. It says they make, okay, they make something valuable with their hands. So shout out to you guys who have come from Power One over here. And if you haven't, you should go to Power One because already there's some similarities here a lot of most some of these cards have come out so this person is obsessed over your lips and your eyes and your hair so you are very pretty you must have long nice hair if it's not long and nice it's like curly and have a good texture to it probably have nice full lips probably have chinky eyes or like bedroom eyes this person is an opportunist though they're in a karmic relationship for money and um you walked away from this person and leveled up and they want to hold something and that came out in power one as well so let's see so yeah this person is definitely an opportunist so this is a person that get married or be in a relationship for image so whatever the person or the relationship could give them or if the person make them look good they there for that it says why are you so detached talk to them you are mirroring this person there is lies and confusion. So the way they treat you is the way um, you treat them. Or if you're not being around them and not mirroring them, they mirror in you when they come around you. So you can talk to them. Or you know when people mirror you, you kind of let your guards down if you don't know what's going on. That is something like psychology 101. This person feel like they have unfinished business with you. You probably see the numbers 999 often. It says who can deny you. When you love yourself, nobody. So you're a person who have self-love. You know your worth. You don't play that bullshit when it comes to toxic people and people trying to use you for your money. It says you are the shit, but they flipped it because they're insecure and immature. Yeah, so they come across as very immature and insecure. And this person wants you to feel less than, but you didn't You didn't fall for the shit, so you know your worth. You walked away from this person, and they went to somebody for money. Okay, so let's see. If you're not 18 years old, come off the reading. Well, you could stay on for this little portion, but after that, you have to come off. Okay, tell me more about this opportunist that went for Pal 2. Cards almost slipped out my hand. Temperance, Page of Cups, and then Three of Pentacles. So this person came across and wanted to like probably like love bomb you or come up yeah come across all like like they balanced and even and even kilt and balanced and romantic and want to love bomb you and everything so nice and hunky dory meanwhile this person's an opportunity for a lot of you guys they was trying to work together with someone they probably was with a group of people two other people some people they some is this is a person who really knows how to fix on um computers and stuff so some of these People probably watching you and you don't even know they watching you. Shout out to my stalkers. Um, so yeah, this person wanted to, um, you see that confirmation? <laughs> yeah, this person, they wanted to work with you. They, like I said, they try to come across all balance and loving and all that. But this person is a whole opportunity to try to use you for your money. But they realize that you love yourself and this is not going to work. But they had other people working with them. So tell me about this person. Um, clarify why you so detached. Talk to me. Why does this person want them to talk to them? After the nonsense. Because they money hungry. And you laying this to rest. Literally. Yeah, they money hungry. Look, they money hungry. 
Some of these people, um, probably when you was in a relationship with them, they held back from you and tried to breadcrumb you. But this person is definitely money hungry. And this person is, again, look, image in a relationship for money. You put this shit to rest with this person. Hangman energy. Person could be a Pisces, but you put this to rest. Clarify this four swords here. And why is this four swords here for power two? It's the last card. Yeah, they wanted to... Look. <laughs> Some of you guys put this to rest and now you have them trapped in their head while they're busy, busy juggling. But this person wanted to have you juggling while they basically put this to rest. They didn't want no relationship. It was plain that they wanted a relationship. They wanted money. So when they didn't get what they wanted with the temperance energy, they couldn't balance anything and finagle you and, and have you up in the air of what they're doing. They walked away from you. Okay, so if you 18, come off of this reading. Because it's an 18 plus reading. I'm going to get a couple more messages. Tell me more about this person and what they think about when they masturbating. This came out in power, power one. Back scratches and toxic sex. This person, you guys, if y'all had sex, this y'all had toxic sex. Well, no sex is toxic, but you, you know toxic sex, like... BDSM and choking and tying up and, you know, handcuffs and all that stuff. It says, did we meet by accident or is it destiny? So they trying to figure out if you guys was like sent to them as a, a gift or, you know, what was this meeting about? It says accountant about my bread. This, people sell sex for money. That's the sell sex for money card. Prostitutes and strippers and, you know people who sell sex for money um it says ride me and put me away wet your pussy is magical so you guys really left the mark on them it says let's go half on a baby they want to get you pregnant you better be careful because they're going to trap you if they get you pregnant because they want money it says morning sex with you came out in power one and i shuffled these cards very well it says sowing my royal oats is my priority if you don't know what sowing royal oats means it means that the person is out fucking everybody on the town it says, talk to me dirty with your sexy mouth. So they like when you talk dirty to them. This is what they think about when they masturbate and all of this stuff. It says, kundalini experience with the fuck. So your pussy is really magical. You opened them up to spirituality for some of you guys. It says, your body speak to me. Lay next to me. Yeah. So that's about that morning sex. You see? Your body speak to them. Lay next to them. What else they thinking about? Jeez, this shit just start flying out. This person is very active. They beat their dick a lot behind you. They probably get off real good when they, like, think about you. Look, could be a hermit. Virgo energy. It also could be, yeah, Virgo energy. This person want to fuck you from behind while they grab on your titties. You got big titties, some of you guys. And when you used to ride them, you probably had a mirror so they could see their dick going in and out of your pussy. You was really into this, too, because it seemed like you was gripping them as you riding them. Some of you guys are spiritual people that came out in power one. So shout out to you spiritual people that sent this power want to know what they masturbating about. But some of these people are very dangerous. They like your ass. They like you bent over. They think about bending you over or just watching, seeing your ass. And some of you guys are into horses. Think about fucking you on a horse while you riding them or them just fucking you on a horse. So I'm going to go to power three. So if you've gotten something from this, will you like it or subscribe? Till next time, you hear this song? They figuring if they told you the right song, the right words at the right time, you would be you would be mine. This song is called Sorry. They love you. That's all that they can say. So, power three. Till next time. Another thing real quick, being that this came out in power one and two, I'll probably tell power three, this person hide their spirituality because they toxic as fuck and they use their spirituality against people, which means some of these people are dark empaths. Google if you don't know what it means. Go into power three. Power three, if this is your deck, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hopefully you enjoy this reading. Hopefully you get some messages from this reading. You are a subscriber. What's popping? Visitors, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. Title is, who masturbates to you? I'm going to figure out and why and 
what they think about and stuff like that. But for some of you guys, already I got a download that this person have a hard time, um, have a hard time coming when they do masturbate to you. This card came out in PAL 2. It's active. It says physically active and have more vowels than consonants in their name. So they have more A, E, I, O, U, and Y's in their name than consonants. Other letters, if you don't know, have vowels and consonants. Um, take what apply and leave the rest. So let's get some details on this person first. This person owned their own home. They wear red frequently. They called you the other night. Has three siblings. If you want to go to other pals, you should go because these cards are coming out in pal one and pal two alike. So, tell me more about this person. This person could be a vegetarian. This person have lighter skin. I said they wear red frequently. So, the red is they like color. They wear red a lot. Has a personal pride for their collectibles. So, they collect like hats, cars. They collect things. Um, your path will cross in the next holiday season. The next holiday season is Labor Day. That's in September. If you're in the States, and this person hums often. These cards came out in power one and two alike, like I said. So, um, it, it, this makes me laugh when um, certain cards come out because I know people like this. I know who these people are in my life. Not that I mess with them ever or anything. Most of them are people I know or friends of mine. So, this is telling us more about this person. It says, why are you so detached? Talk to me. And this card came out, I think, in pile two. It says, the sex, the um, they think sex equal love. So they're immature and lustful. Their name could be, their first, last name, or middle name could begin with a D, a M, a B, a A, or a P. This person, manipulation backfired, and now they obsessed. That came out in pile two. It says, pile one, using you for money. You probably see 444 often. Or this person, family is using them for money, whoever that they with. And it says, you're protected. Don't turn around for this person. It says, they want you for stability. So, your gatekeepers and the universe is telling you, don't go back to this person. It says, don't be that person lying, stalking, deceiving, lustful, and deceptive. So, don't be that person getting trapped up in a web. It says, you was right. I'm sorry I didn't listen. So you gave this person some form of advice and they didn't listen to you. So let's see what we could find out. What pal three, what advice pal three gave this person that they didn't listen to? Okay, keep this. High priestess. So some of you guys know what you told this person. High priestess know everything and don't say anything. Pisces been heavy throughout all his pals. And Virgo energy. So this person could sell drugs as well. They could be drug dealers or drug sellers. They could smoke cigarettes. This person could have a black cat. He had a confirmations. The six of wands came out. So you told this person about their ego. How they like to be paraded around. How they like to be fawned after. Some of these people have only fans. Some of these people sell sex. You told this person about themselves entirely. You you ran this per read this person to filth. And you gave them advice too. It says four swords. Confirmation. You make this person ball up when you told them about themselves. This person probably have a thigh tattoos or tattoos on their back or their hips. On their legs as well. Body, um, calf or their ankle. The Empress. You the Empress. You read this person to filth. You could be a Libra or a Taurus. Yeah. But some of these people come across like they are Empress. This person remind me of somebody. I never even seen that until i seen this card but yeah some of these people confirmation smoke cigarettes heavy or weed matter of fact let me like my spliff on that note talking about this toxic hold on for a second yeah this person is a smoker smoke cigarettes i can't stand smokers but did with this song come on they said tell you to, they want you to tell them your dreams so they can con you and take you they want you to let your guards down so they could steal from you What manipulation backfired for Pal 3? What manipulation was here in the backfire? A painful ending. It was about love. This person tried to have you um, stuck on them with love. And it has the Nine of Wands. Look what it said. Look at the card. They pissed off at you. They are pissed that this shit didn't work. They mad at you. 
<laughs> you like the wounded warrior. You've been through a lot with this person. If you're not 18, come off this reading. Gatekeepers, what do they think about when they masturbate you? Kundalini experience. What the fuck happened? You woke this person up sexually. Your pussy was like mind-blowing to this person. It says, talk to me sexy with your dirty mouth. So some of you guys like to talk dirty while you having sex. This person sells sex. This is my accountant card. It says, I'm an accountant. I'm about my bread. So they have strip or they sell um sex. They sell sex. It says they want to put your feet on their shoulders and stroke you real slow. This came out in power one, but a whole different deck. Make love to me like never before. So you really fucked this person and left an impression on them. Like seriously, make love to them. You didn't even fuck them. You really made love to them. This person never had nobody make love to them. This person have an accent. They have dreads and they love sex a lot. This came out in power one. So this person is probably a gallus. Yeah. What else to set it over here? It says pr private party, bring two, three, maybe four. This person is into threesomes. Tell me more about this person. It says you are using magic, I mean sex magic on me. They are, are you using sex magic on me? Beware. So these people, some of them are using sex magic on you and this came out in other pals or they tried to. It says you really activate my soul. Yeah, that kundalini sex. What do they think about when they fucking power one? Or, I mean, not fucking masturbating. <laughs> they think about fucking you till you weak. They want to just take off your clothes. Some of you people, some of you guys probably had a cesarean section. When I looked up 3131 was on the timestamp. Some of you guys are real spiritual people. So shout out to you spiritual people. This person could be a Taurus. This came out. These cards came out as well in other pals. They want you to ride them. They think about you riding them from behind. They think about you sucking a dick as well. Some of them, some of you guys had threesomes with this um person. Tell me more about what they think about. Or if you didn't have threesomes, that's what they um, daydream about. They daydream about stealing you away from a group of people and, and carrying you away to go suck your pussy. Look, can't make it up. I never say can't make it up. I actually hate that, but that's saying, but it popped out my mouth. Look, they want to steal you away from the group of people to take you to their little palace and suck your pussy. I can't, well, I could show you to suck the pussy card because, look, they want to suck your pussy. Some of you guys um have, like, role play. You hear that confirmation again? And role playing is here, too. It's a lot of role playing. Y'all like to role play a lot or dress up in costumes or Halloween is important for you guys. Tell me more. Last messages with this person. They daydream about you. Not daydream. They do daydream about you as and masturbating. It's the same thing. It's not, but it's different, but it's kind of the same. They want you to ride them. You really know how to ride them. They look at your pussy when you ride them like they can't even believe how good your pussy is. You can really ride. Some of you guys had threesomes with this person and they got caught. Some of you guys are really spiritual people. Big up to you guys. Yeah, they thinking about dominating you. Come to visit you and dominating you. So, will you guys like and or subscribe if you've gotten something from this? They want you to, to, to ride them. Till next time, take care.